What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down some very important levels on Tesla, Spy, Nvidia, and the QQQ. Talk about what you should be watching for moving forward and break down a very big test that's coming for Spy and all these different tickers. But before I break into these all this information, before I get into any more details, let me just mention a couple of things. I am personally not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble, the link down below and deposit any amount of money into the account, you are guaranteed up to 12 or free stocks. And this offer ends in just about uh, seven days from now, so check it out before they run out. Anyways, let's break down what's going on with the market. So the market started off very strongly. We ended up seeing a very, very nice push by SPY to almost 425, and we were holding up very nicely for the first couple of hours. Uh, but as time has progressed, we were starting to see the market weaken and the five minute has turned a bit more bearish and the 30 minute is about to get a bearish cross on the PPO if we maintain these lower levels. So the market is weakening a little bit, but we have a very big test coming. Basically, we're very close to the support at the five minutes 200 EMA at 422.5. If we lose this, we're going to turn more bearish, guys. The market's going to turn, but if we're, we hold this, the market could still bounce back up to 424. So it's going to be a very, very big test. Now, I wanted to call out that on the 30 minutes time frame, uh, we basically still have this inverse head and shoulders. Even if we come all the way down, you know, and break below 422.5 to fill this gap, this inverse head and shoulders could still be valid as long as we bounce afterwards very close to 420 and make our way back up. So it's not necessarily like the end of the world or anything, even if we do end up coming down. But part of why I'm talking about some possible downside now is because we also have this gap. And I, I called this out earlier that it's a little concerning if we do end up breaking some key levels. So we're going to be watching this gap support at 422.5. That's also aligning with the 5 minutes 200 EMA uh, with the extended hours on. If we lose 422.5, SPY is going to come down to fill this gap likely. And we're going to come down to 421. Even if we do come down, it's still going to be okay because SPY could bounce later on. But if we break 421, then like 420 is going to be another possibility. Even if that happens, it's not the end of the world. The inverse head and shoulders could still be valid. But I just wanted to warn you about this because this is going to have a big effect on the whole markets. Now, part of why I'm talking about this is because uh, we have more data coming out. Today, right about here, you guys will see that we have some very important data right here. At 1 o'clock p.m., we have the two-year note auction coming out, and this sometimes causes some high volatility. So at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is just a little bit over an hour away at the time I'm recording this, so make sure you're prepared for that. Make sure you're ready to see how this affects the market. So we're going to be watching to see if SPY breaks down or not, and that's going to affect how the whole market moves. Now, on Tesla... OK, and actually, let me just show you this on SPY before I talk about Tesla. It's basically this level down here for 22.5 ish. We've got to hold this or else we're going to come down. If we bounce off it, we could push back up to these higher levels. But that's going to be a very big test going forward. And that's going to be our key support for the day. Anyways, talking about Tesla, Tesla got a very nice. Pop. I was talking about 220 being tested. We did technically come all the way up there, but now Tesla's starting to reject a bit and uh, moving forward. We're going to be watching this gap on Tesla, just like SPY, and it happens to have a gap as well. Uh, this gap, if Tesla loses its 20 EMA on the 30 minutes time frame without the extended hours, that's basically close to this 215 level, 215.8 or so. We could see Tesla sink towards 212 all over again. So there's a risk of it coming down if we lose 215. And if we manage to hold above it, we could try to make our way back up to 218 plus. But for now, Tesla is looking a little weaker as the market is slowing down just a bit. So I just wanted to warn you about that. Uh, even if Tesla comes down to 212, I just wanted to call out that we still have this inverse head and shoulders like structure, which is still looking quite decent. So this could still, you know, it could still uptrend overall, but there could be some downside coming if it loses that level. So we're going to be watching that very carefully. And then don't forget that uh, at 1 p.m. we have the two-year note auction coming out. That's going to be affecting Tesla as well. Now for the QQQ and just a couple of other tickers, I'm going to try to be quicker from this point. Uh, for the QQQ, we're going to be watching this key support right here. Uh, let me show you where the gap is first before I break that down, though. I think the QQQ has something different. So on the QQQ, I'm going to hide the extended hours. Uh, right here, we're at support just barely right now. QQQ needs to hold around 357. 
3.5 ish around there. If we lose that, it's going to come all the way down towards 356. And we could see the 355 is being retested if it breaks. If we hold 357.5, we could see this thing trying to rebound. It is looking a little weaker right now as we're starting to see tech slow down a bit. So we're going to be watching these levels very, very carefully. And even if it does come down, like I said before, that's going to be completely fine since we still have an inverse head and shoulders that is still valid. So if it could drop a little bit towards 355, but if it holds that, it could still rebound later on. For NVIDIA, it's the same thing that's going on. I've got a nice pump. We almost got to our 440 target. Now it's starting to cool off a bit. We're going to be watching 430 as support. And below that, we have, I mean, this wick right here is at 426.9. Not seeing that as a very historical level, but 425 is where we tend to have more support. So we're going to be watching those levels very carefully. And the 50 EMA, which is currently at 428, is support. So watch 428. So 430, 428, 426 to 425 as key supports for nvidia it is looking a little weaker on the 30 minutes time frame, so we'll see if the 50 ema holds it or not and if for resistance watch 432 followed by 435 so watch these levels carefully we'll see how this market tries to hold up and then finally for the last one for the day i'm going to be talking about i think i went over almost everything except for apple Apple, you know, got a nice bounce. It actually tried to bounce during the pre-market, but now it's starting to cool off a little bit. And it actually broke below uh, this key support at 173. So it's looking a little weaker. We're barely holding 172. That's going to be our key support. If we lose it, it could come back down to 170 and, you know, cause the market to slow a bit. So we're going to be watching if this inverse head and shoulders holds on Apple. It was lower than what I was expecting. So we'll see if Apple could try to hold up. Apple is one of the main reasons why the market is cooling. So we're going to be watching this very carefully. If it loses 172 and holds below that, that's going to be a bearish signal. As of right now, it's just kind of range trading around 172.5. And if you want to turn bullish, you want to see Apple get back above 173.25. So we're going to be watching these levels carefully. And last but not least, we'll see what happens with the note auction. Now, the thing about the auction is this is very unpredictable. If this is like a little bit hot relative to what, uh, what, what we saw before, sometimes that could cause the market to cool off. Sometimes the opposite could happen. So expect some high volatility again at 1 p.m. Eastern time. I can't really predict this perfectly. This is going to be really, really tricky. But just know that the market is weakening a bit. And, you know, if we do see some downside, it's not the end of the world because we could see some critical support making attempts to hold. All right. So that's it for the video. I want to thank every single one of you so much for listening. Have an absolutely incredible day. And remember an important lesson in trading. That is, it's very important to hunt for opportunities and not chase after what you're seeing. So hunt for good entries. Be very patient in a market like this and watch for confirmation. All right. Thank you again, guys. I'll see you guys very soon and peace out.